Hello all, this is Halloween, and if you love Halloween, costumes, cosplay, and being creative as much as I do, you may want to subscribe because I'm going to be showing you how to make some awesome costumes without breaking the bank and maybe even using some items you already have at home. In today's episode, we will be recreating DC supervillain Poison Ivy. Now, we're going to be doing the older version where she's all green, not the Uma Thurman version. I just like that one better. I'm old school, so the old school comic version where she's all green with the red hair, we're doing that today. Let's get started. Here is our Poison Ivy costume. I bought this bodysuit on Amazon. I bought these gloves on Amazon too. I bought some neon green pantyhose. Mine's gonna be old school, the green poison ivy with the red lip. I've got some ivy here. I guess it's ivy. It's ivy looking enough. It's just a vine that I'm gonna be actually cutting the leaves off of this to add to the bodysuit. And this is the one I used for my Greek statue. I may need more leaves. If I do, I'll just spray paint this and cut them off too and use them. And then I've got these awesome boots. They are glittery boots and a red wig. This is the same wig I used for Fiona. So this is a pretty easy costume to put together. I'm gonna be embellishing the bodysuit and the gloves so that they kind of match with the boots. And to do that, I'm gonna be using this green glitter glue and just kind of drawing vines on the suit and gloves and adding leaves to them. I'll take progress shots of that as we go. Let's get started. pieces dry overnight and they turned out awesome like this is gonna look amazing let's get started with our makeup time for makeup I have decided I'm gonna use my own kind of features and just embellish on that use what God gave me to create this look I'm going to just be a real pretty poison ivy I'm starting with this awesome this is actually Maron Paradise. This is a really good green that I bought for Fiona. It's called Lime and it's really good with coverage. So I'm going to start with this all over my face and we're just going to be doing the face on camera and then I'll go off camera to do all of this area because I will need to do my upper arms and chest for this one. This is actually pretty exciting. I don't do like a lot of sexy costumes or you know stuff like that. So it's something different for me. <laughs> she is, I think, the prettiest villain in DC Comics, except for Michelle Pfeiffer's Catwoman. Let's just face it, she was hot. Let's do this magic. So has everyone decided what they're gonna be for Halloween? That's the question of the day, because it's getting close. It's, <laughs> it's crazy close. So, I mean, I know you think, oh, it's only beginning of August. It's gonna be here before you know it, because it seems like yesterday was Christmas. And here we are almost through this year already. It's just going by so fast. And I'm ready for it to be over, to be honest with you. This one wasn't such a great one, so. But I don't wanna wish away time either. We never know how much of it we have left, you know? But I, let's just say I will welcome a new year. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna green my face. And this is all we're gonna do. We're greening our whole face. And then we're gonna come back and do all the, the makeup. I went off camera to do my body paint. And I would suggest putting on your costume 
so that you know exactly where you need to paint. Let's get started. As usual, I'm gonna I'm gonna work start with the brows and work my way down. I'm gonna do a black brow, I think. I saw a lot with her with a black brow. I saw a few with a red brow. We're gonna do a black brow today. It's gonna look a little more comic-y. I am going to exaggerate it a little bit and it's gonna be kind of crisp. I do want her to kind of look cartoony. I was reading about Poison Ivy. Her superpower is seduction, basically. She uses her natural pheromones to reel people in and seduce them. And that's kind of her superpower is being a seductress. And she's immune to all kinds of toxins and poisons. And so she's kind of cool. If you're into sexy costumes, this would be a sexy costume. <laughs> it's just a, a super villain, but she's kind of sexy. I may have one or two more Marvel and DC heroes to do this here. So if you're liking this kind of stuff for cosplay or whatever, tune in. You never know what you might learn. Everybody has their people that they watch on YouTube. But even I have my people that I watch on YouTube for makeup and stuff like that. Uh, not costume makeup so much, but... Um, like I said, I don't really watch anybody else's videos as far as that goes. I want to kind of do my own thing. Um, I just don't want to ever have the issue of, oh, you copied off of me or, you know, something like that. Because uh, that's not what I'm here for. You know, I want to do things the way I've always done them and show you how I do them. And, you know, if you if you learn something from that, great. But everybody's going to have kind of like their own ways of doing things, their own makeups that they use, um, their own tips and tricks. And so if you're really doing costumes, I mean, learn from everybody. I have throughout the years. And I, I feel like that's that's what I need. I'll watch like, um, you know those uh, Face Off? Is it called Face Off? I've watched that a few times. It's that TV show where they do like the professional makeup. And it's, it's like a reality show. There's judges and everything. I'm gonna do kind of like that, like a real dramatic brow. Real dramatic. All right, let's do the other one. Voila. Now I'm gonna do some green around my eyes. Uh, with this Tamex Revolution palette, I've got that really bright green there. It's not really bright, actually. It's, a, it's more of a, well, an ivy green or an emerald green. See this, and it's showing up pretty good. Cool. I just want to kind of shadow my eyes. I'm not gonna do anything crazy. I don't think. I just want that green there. And this covers pretty good. So, just gonna give us some drama on the eyes. Probably will do a cat eye. I chose this one, the green one, because it's more of a pain in the butt. But because <laughs> you're painting your body, but. I like her better. I think I liked Uma Thurman's Poison Ivy, but I really like the old school characters. I think they were a little more dramatic. I think they were a little more painted, like as far as the costume goes. Like, cause for example, I did Scarlet Witch last year. I don't like the new Scarlet Witch. I was gonna be doing Nebula. It's almost the same exact costume or outfit, that burgundy leather sort of look. And I wanted to do something different. You know, I didn't want to have two costumes that were very similar like that. So I did the old school Scarlet Witch where her body's pink and her face is flesh tone. And that turned out really good. Uh, but I liked it because to me, it was more fun to do rather than just wearing a leather suit or whatever. That's the same reason I'm doing this, you know. Uma Thurman's character is great and all, but I just did Wicked Lady from Sailor Moon, and she had the two buns on her head. So I didn't want to do anything too similar to what I've already done this year. So I ended up doing, you'll notice I did not paint my ears. I don't need to. The wig will be covering my ears, so. And I'm low on paint. <laughs> I am real low. On that color, that color spent probably with this costume. I had to get it again, because I really liked the color. And it works for a lot of costumes. I should have got a bigger compact, but I got like the smallest one they had. It's actually a refill <laughs> for one of their sets. I didn't realize that that's what I was buying at the time. <laughs> I do that sometimes. 
I am gonna go under my eye a little bit with this green too. I was gonna wear contacts. I was kind of like trying to see what color her eyes were. I, I think I noticed in some photographs her eyes were red, but then in others, they were just green. I kind of have green eyes. I have hazel eyes that turn green. I just did my natural eye color. <laughs> I'm gonna try an accent with green too. Just make her real green. I wish I had some green eyeliner and I don't. So I'm just gonna line my waterline with black to embolden and bring out the eye. I'm also going to use the green here as a blush. I actually use this green in this palette quite a bit because it's a pretty cool color. I'm kind of a fan of green anyway. You know, St. Patrick's Day rolls around. <laughs> I get all the green stuff. <laughs> Just gonna do a blush with this beautiful green. I also, like I said, I don't have a green pencil. I've got a Sharpie. I'm probably gonna use it to do some design on my face. I use Sharpies for costumes. I don't know if you have like sensitive skin, if that's a good idea, but in a pinch, I've used Sharpies quite a few times and it just comes off with soap and water. It's a good thing to have on hand. <laughs> and right now, with school coming up, Sharpies are on sale. Buy one, get one free, all the colors. So that's kind of cool. I know that sounds crazy, but I've told you before that I've also spray painted my whole body. So it's not that crazy. <laughs> yeah, I like the way that looks. I got this really cool lipstick. I'm not gonna do it yet. A friend of mine gave me this a while back. Um, it's a really just a pretty dark red, kind of like a burgundy color. It's called Moment. Oh, I know who makes it, I can't see. <laughs> She bought it's got this cute little button tufted cushion casing, which is kind of cool. It's a really good lipstick and it's minty, so it's refreshing on your invigorating, I should say. I'm using a black pencil to line my waterline. I do also have some of my extra leaves. I'm thinking to put a couple on my face. I'll be gluing those down with uh, some spirit gum adhesive. Now I'm gonna do a dramatic cat eye. And then I probably will be wearing lashes for this one. I'll do those off camera. <laughs> Going about like that for the cat eye. I put on my eyelashes, everything's looking awesome. Let's add some vines to our face. Now my wig does not have bangs, so I'm gonna go ahead and just try and draw on some vines. And like I said, if you have a green pencil or something, that's what I would use because this is a marker, so. I do shake a little bit and that's why I hold my other hand still. I don't know why. I have had a lot of coffee this morning, so that probably contributes, but I've always, I've always shaken for as long as I can remember. People notice it on me all the time. I don't know why I shake. But. I've had MRIs done and everything. They can't find anything, so. And then I'm gonna be adding leaves to it. This is really hard to do, like on, on camera. I really do need like a, a better setup. don't really have a lot of rhyme or reason. I'm just freestyling, freehand, doing some vines here on my face. Probably going to um, be adding my leaves somewhere in here. So, I think I just wanna do one side of my face. I'm just gonna be adding the leaves just wherever. Let's see what that looks like. And 
I'm going to do a bigger one like down here. I only needed actually one strand of the of this vine that I bought and I was able to get enough leaves to do my costume and have some for my face and so that's kind of cool you're not gonna have to spend a lot of money on the vines see that works out great You think I should come up from this side? I can do a line here. I think so. Let's see. <clears throat> Just like come up from this side. All right. Just do a couple more leaves. This costume was actually so easy to put together. So easy to do. I did it in like an hour. Or less, probably like, probably less than that. Probably like 45 minutes to put all the little vines on my costume to draw them all with the glitter and add on all the little leaves. It didn't take long at all. It was awesome. So this was a really quick costume. If you need to like throw something together, I would advise if you are ordering anything from Amazon to just go ahead and get it started with that because this came quick I had it in one day but you never know with Amazon like sometimes things you know get delayed I've had many items that got delayed and I was counting on them so I had to do other costumes in between some of which never came so if you are doing something for Halloween you're and you're ordering online you're gonna want to order like a month in advance or more you know just to get your stuff now like I said this I got right away but there's no guarantee of that just make sure you're giving yourself time that way if you need to reorder or, or, or find another vendor or something you'll be able to do that and still get your costume in time for your event I think that looks pretty crazy cool really what is she missing lips Let's put our lips on. I might um, just line my lips with black. I'm going just outside of my natural lip. I'm giving her a fuller, more seductress. So my bottom lip looks kind of wonky, but my, my lipstick will fix that. What do you think? Let's put our wig on because I think it's going to be fire. All right. All dressed up, ready for photos. What do you think? Thank you so much for joining me again today. I hope you enjoyed today's look. Poison Ivy, another classic. If you haven't already, please subscribe. I'm gonna be doing this up until Halloween. And in October, I'm gonna be doing two costumes a week. So it's gonna be a lot of work on my end. It would really mean a lot to me if you go ahead and subscribe because it helps the channel and it ultimately will help me to continue to do this for you. I love all of you. That does it for today's episode. I'll see you next time.